Okay, Pyro One, what you want from love is for someone to focus on all sides of your femininity. You are a very intimidating person. You're a very strong, patient, in control, passionate, encouraging, nurturing, enjoys her pleasure. Like, there's very many sides to you. And in love, you want someone that is able to see all of who you are, all of your feminine nature not just the part that scares people off not just the resting bitch face not just the intelligence not just the bluntness the directness you know you want people to see your soft side too and what love is willing to offer you is truth is honesty is accepting someone's going to accept you for all that you are they're not going to be scared all right of your discipline of your structure of your ambition okay they're gonna help they are mature too they see you to your bones to your core like they're gonna help you stay grounded but also help you open up that soft nature it is very safe for you to love them okay pile two what you are from love is to be one and done you want this to be the last person you date you want to marry this person for some of you this is going to be an ex or someone you had previous dealings with um and the timing just never was right and for some of you this is a completely new person that's going to have you feeling a new type of way that you've never felt before. I feel like some of you are very pessimistic and this person is going to have you looking at things like the glass half full. Uh, but what love is willing to offer you is this person's going to look at you in such high regard and have like the utmost respect from you for you that you can like you can free yourself. You don't have to control the situation, control the outcome, control like almost like be your own PR team kind of embarrassed to date this person because you're like they got me out here looking foolish in these streets not this person this is a very mature connection and again it's going to be your last first time for a lot of things because it's just going to be you and this person moving forward take the chance go exploring take the leap uh be generous optimistic okay pile three so what I get is that you're not really looking for love in the romantical sense or if you are thinking about love you have so many ideas about it right now that you're not really wanting to settle down into something serious you're really working on your manifestation you're really planning for your future trying to figure out what you want you're really into friendships right now um collaborations with others or hangouts but you have like a million ideas you kind of just want to test the waters and experiment and things like that uh, what love is willing to offer you honestly is time apart from your partner because you have so many things you're trying to figure out um there's gonna be laughter in your life there's gonna be so much friendship there's gonna be so much joy there's gonna be so much discovery um but sometimes it is gonna feel lonely there is aquarius energy here like you might be a loner but just because you don't have love in the romantical sense doesn't mean you won't have love within friendships love in other forms love within yourself so really get out there have fun like explore So what you want to love is for things to pick up very quickly. You're trying to meet the parents, you're trying to move in, you're trying to not have to date for too long. You want to intuitively know that this is the right person for you. And you also want them to just know you, to be able to make decisions for you and it be the right decision. You don't want to feel left out in the cold. If you are in trouble, you want to be able to call this person a flat tire. Like, I feel scared. Can you come get me? You want to feel very much so. Like, you can rely on somebody. Like, if you needed help, you had somebody to call this is what love is willing to offer you they are always going to have you feel like you're in the honeymoon phase you this person is going to be your creative spark your muse you're writing songs about them books about them you're drawing portraits of them okay you are going to feel very proud to be in this connection to be with this person but also to be in your own skin they are very encouraging they very much so see the potential in your dreams and your abilities and they are going to help you grow and happy for you okay pile five what you want is for things to flow you want the cash to flow you want the emotions to flow you want the conversation to flow you just want to be abundant in anything you put your hands to what love is willing to offer you is co-creation is starting a business with your partner is having some sort of legacy that you can see develop and grow and this can happen very soon you guys can have like a contributive workforce craft duo like you edit the videos and they're the star or something like there will be successful business ventures with your person and you guys are very talkative very communicative very collaborative very much open like you wear your hearts on your sleeves you're very much like oh my god you're so beautiful and i'm so happy i get to live my life with you like 
the conversation the emotion the connection is just so open and vibrant and beautiful and like very soon did i mention very soon pile six what you want from love is daddy you want someone to take care of you you want someone to ask you if you've eaten today give you an allowance like you want to have someone take care of all the business all the bills all the things and you just want to live your best life and be so addicted and swept up in this connection so passionate you feel the sparks all the time like this connection is gonna change you i'm thinking like damon salvatore vibes okay this is destined connection this is your soulmate energy and it's gonna be so compassionate and loving but so like serious and responsible it's gonna be mature it's gonna help you blossom and like fulfill your destiny and like be the parts of you that you know you could be if someone can just kind of like pull them out it's going to be clingy but like in a good way like you just don't want to be without this person they're going to help you evolve grow like it's just okay pile seven what you're looking for in love is for someone to help you juggle your responsibilities somebody who is checking for you someone who's willing to put you on a pedestal in the spotlight like you are very much so used to being overlooked overshadowed not being thanked for your contributions and you're just over it and you're like bro if my love language are gifts and you can't afford that that's all you had to say like you didn't have to do all this stuff to make me feel some type of way you want someone who knows how to give and knows how to receive like you want balance adaptability like you just want somebody to got you and what love is willing to offer you is help with your children like um for those of you who don't have children keeping that youthful essence all right but you interacting with this person is like no other energy or person you've experienced before and anything you've lost in the past you're gonna realize was just to lead you to this opportunity so take a risk like see the happy-go-lucky energy you can like be living in all the time because so what you want from love pile eight is stability a family nurturing energy basically everything you didn't get as a kid you want your own familial unit so that you can pour all that love and energy kind of back into yourself back into one other person just a tight fit unit of joy and love and safety um and what love is willing to give you is focus i feel like as a kid you had many siblings um or your parents are really into their job so they didn't focus as much attention as you wanted on you and in this connection you're very much going to get focus feel front of mind um you're gonna feel free in this connection okay you're used to being a loner you're kind of used to doing your own thing so even though you're gonna have somebody there you are still gonna feel very much free to do your own thing you're gonna feel empowered you're gonna feel strengthened this connection is gonna help you grow like so great Pile nine, you have a great capacity for sadness and you're very much so in your head all the time. What you want from love is for someone to help with your anxiety, for someone to get you out of your head, feel, help you feel more stable, give you a reason to persevere. You almost want someone to kind of be your life coach, your mentor, your sage. Um, what love is willing to offer you is someone that's going to help you get grounded, someone that's going to help you feel a little more sane in your day to day. Um, this will, for some of you who want this, there will be romantic feelings in this mentor type of person. For another, some of you will just really love your therapist, really love your life coach. Um, they will help you feel free. They will help you feel powerful in who you are and what you have to offer they'll help with those complex emotions and thoughts and kind of help you and educate you to be better